episode 3, we looked at using a 4-bar linkage to move and reorient a part with rotational motion. Today's in-motion application will investigate another method to move a part, this time with a unique take on a power transmission classic, the belt and pulley system. In many factories, conveyors are used to continually transfer parts in one direction, However, that isn't always ideal when more intricate assembly processes are needed. A reciprocating linear system can be used to transfer parts between two distinct stations, with predetermined stopping points at either end, giving the operator more control. A common method for achieving reciprocating linear motion is to use a timing belt and pulley system for positional accuracy. The pulleys are typically fixed onto either end of the motion while the belt transfers the table with the part back and forth. A less common method fixes the belt in place using timing belt clamp plates and attaches the pulley to the carriage, moving the part back and forth as the pulley rotates. Idlers are used to keep the belt properly tensioned and a motor can be used to drive the pulley directly. One benefit to this method is using an open loop belt less than half the total length of the conventional closed counterpart. A dual block linear guide can be used in order to help support the carriage from twisting due to moment load, and photo optical or proximity sensors can be fixed to the carriage detecting the position of the two ends of motion. Finally, in order to contain the sensor and motor wires while the carriage is transferring parts, a cable carrier can provide an additional level of protection and security against tangled wires. The next time you choose to design outside the box, rest easy knowing that all the products mentioned in this episode and more are available through Misumi. Mm -hmm.